So hello and welcome to this uh, quick Adobe Anime tutorial. I already created a long version for this tutorial and I'm going to provide the link in the description for that one. And right now I would like to show you what we are going to be doing today. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm not going to show you how you can adjust this in Illustrator, you can watch this in the long tutorial and I am also not going to show you how you can export this uh, because I, I talked about it in the long tutorial. I am going to only show you the animation. Uh, so right now I will go to the Adobe Animate and I am going to drag my Illustrator file which I am going to provide you uh, in the description uh, like so. And basically I want to click the select all layers like so, so everything is selected. I don't want to change anything and I'm just going to click import. And this is going to import me this like so. I'm going to have some kind of warning that the blend mode the layer is not supported in uh, HTML5 canvas and it is going to be converted to the blend mode normal. In some cases it is going to destroy your uh, artwork, in some cases it's fine. Uh, in this case it's fine. Uh, right now I'm going to hide the my layers except the, the button one and I'm going to name this to be phone like so and I'm going to show uh, the layer above and this is going to be my uh, profile one so I'm going to double click on the layer and I will call this to be P2. I will hide it and I will show the next one. Uh, this is going to be P2 like profile 2. I will hide it and I will go to the next one. This is going to be profile 3 so I'm going to call this to be uh, P3 like so. Uh, I will hide it. The next one is going to be hand so I'm going to to uh, call this to be hand like so and the last one is going to be this little heart but I'm going to delete it because we are not going to animate it. Uh, now what we need to do is uh, is we need to convert this to the to the symbol what we are going to be animating. So I will click on the hand, I will go to the modify convert to symbol and I am going to call this just symbol one. I'm not going to be bothered about the name and the same thing for the profile. So I'm going to click on the profile number one and I'm going to click F8 and I'm going to make this symbol two. Uh, I will show my P2 and hide P1 and F8 and this is going to be symbol 3 and the same thing right now I will call uh, show only P3 uh, F8 and this is going to be symbol 4. So we have converted everything that we are going to be animating to the symbol. The font we do not need to convert it to the symbol because we are not going to be animating it. Uh, I will go maybe to frame 200. I don't know. I will click on one of the frames with shift. I am going to select it like so. I will right click and I am going to choose insert frame or you can see that F5 is shortcut uh, like so. Uh, now I will go to my hand layer and I will go maybe to frame 15 and I'm going to create new keyframe so right click insert keyframe or you can go with shortcut F6 and I don't want to have any movement in between like uh, so uh, but let me go let me go back because actually I want to go to this first keyframe and I want to position my hand uh, like so so at the beginning I want to have it in the middle and right now I will go in here and create new keyframe F6 so in here I don't want to have any movement uh, but I will go maybe to frame 20 something I will create a new keyframe F6 and I'm going to uh, with my shift and uh, arrows position it like so and then I'm going to duplicate this initial keyframe so with alt I am going to just hold alt and drag this like uh, so and right now we have the initial position the position in the left and the initial position I'm going I'm going to select it like so I will right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin and right now I'm going to have this uh, movement and right now I want to create some kind of easing so I will click on the first keyframe with shift on this keyframe and I will go to the classic ease and I'm going to cho just choose uh, easy in out and uh, the this version because these are the so these are stronger versions, but I want to have this one. And basically it will make the animation not to be linear, but uh, slow at the beginning, then faster and then slower. Uh, like so and I'm going to double click and we are going to have just uh, swipe with the uh, hand like so and what, what I'm going to do is uh, right now I will hide my P3 and I will show my P1 like so and I will go to the P1 like this. Uh, I'm not going to go uh, exactly in here but uh, one or two frames later and I will create new keyframe in here F6. So in here I don't want to have any movement but I will go maybe in here like so. Uh, I will create a new keyframe F6. Uh, 
six maybe in here and I'm going to with the shift uh, and arrow position it like uh, so and I'm going to create a classic twin and I'm going to create an easing so I'm going to choose easy in out uh, like so and it is going to be uh, like this and maybe I can make this to be a little bit uh, slower like so so we are going to have something like this uh, later on we are going to create mask so don't worry about it uh, right now I'm going to choose my P2 profile 2 and I'm going to uh, position the keyframe uh, maybe in uh, here like so and I will create new keyframe uh, F6 in here and on this initial position I am going to with my shift and arrow position it to the right like uh, so and I'm going to go and create classic twin and we are going to have something like this but I'm going to position all of this I'm going to choose uh, select it with shift I'm going to position it maybe like so and I will make this a little bit uh, slower, so like this. So this is going to go uh, like so to the left and the new profile is going to appear uh, like so. And then uh, I will go maybe in here, uh, click F6 and I will go maybe in here and click F6 and I'm going to position this uh, to, the, to the left like so and I'm going to to right, right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin. Uh, maybe I forget uh, in here, uh, I will click on this uh, on this keyframe on the P2 and I want to have easy in out like so and the same thing in here. So I will click on this keyframe and I want to have easy in out like so. So basically we, ha we have something like this and then this is going away uh, but we need to copy the movement of the hand like so. So with alt I'm going to copy this like so and position it maybe like uh, so and we need to right now show the P3 like this and I'm going to position the keyframe uh, maybe maybe in here I will create a new keyframe on the initial keyframe I will position this uh, to the right like uh, so I will right click create classic twin so right now this is going to appear I will uh, create easing so easy in out like so so this is going to uh, come like uh, this and right now, uh, maybe this one, I can go in here, uh, create, uh, click F6 and go maybe in here, F6. And I'm going to swipe this to the right, like uh, so. And I'm going to uh, create classic twin and I will click on this keyframe and I want to have easy in out like so. So we are going to have it like this. Maybe I will extend it like so. And right now with the finger, I will have to go and I cannot copy it right now because right now we go to the other direction. So I will click F6. I will go maybe in here F6 and I'm going to position this to the right. And then I'm going to duplicate this initial keyframe with alt like so. And I'm going to create a classic twin like this. And I'm going to make the easings uh, like so easy in out and I'm double click and we are going to swipe it uh, like uh, so. Uh, so right now I'm going to hit control enter and we will see what we are going to have so far. So we have something like this, something like this and then we are going to swipe, swipe it like so. Uh, now the last thing that we are going to do in this tutorial is create some kind of uh, mask. So I will create new layer, I will go to the shape tool, I will go with some kind of uh, color, I want to go with red one because it's like more visible and I'm going to create a shape uh, like so. Uh, okay, but I will have to, in, I change this and it is, it is in the memory of the Adobe Animate, these rectangle options, I want this to be uh, zero, like so, you should have this zero automatically, uh, but basically I want to create the shape with uh, the angles uh, like so, with the corners, and I'm going to basically uh, position my shape like this, and I will go to the free transform tool, uh, like so, I will click in here or the shortcut is Q and with Alt I am going to put it like so. If you want you can zoom in and play with the details like so, so something like this. But I am not going to be worried about it. Maybe in here with Alt I can position it like so, like so. So basically I want to create a shape that is, uh, uh, that, is uh, that, will go, that will cover the screen. And I am going to call this to be mask like so. And I am going to duplicate. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this mask two times, so duplicate layer, duplicate layer, and I'm going to position it about P1 and uh, this one about P2 and this one I'm going to position about P3. And right now one by one I can choose that I want to have this one to be mask, I want this one to be mask and I want this one to be mask like so. It is going to, uh, it is going to automatically lock the layers. 
Uh, if you want, you can unlock the layers and uh, play with them, uh, adjust them and later on lock them like so. Uh, but right now we are going to have it uh, like so. And I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter and we are going to have uh, something like uh, this. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is it. Uh, I wanted to just create this kind of uh, shorter version of uh, of the of this animation. Uh, if you want to watch how you can adjust the free pick vector uh, in the in the Illustrator, you can go ahead and watch the long version of the tutorial. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. I hope that you have learned something. And if you like this video, hit the like. Uh, maybe you can consider to subscribe. And uh, if you want, you can go ahead and watch the long tutorial. So thank you for watching, goodbye.